It's Hello. Karen and Tim <laughs> from Semi on the Back Porch. And check this out. Do we have a few fat, cards? A fat pen. <laughs> this is one. One catalog. So, oh, hello. We have people on already. Wonderful. Um, and I'm just going to tell you, you know, as demonstrators, we got to see the new catalog today. I just even have time to look at it. So I'll let me do it. Just figuring this out first, first. So after this, I'm going to settle in and check that out. So that will be really fun. Okay. So welcome, everyone. And we will... Go ahead and get started. This is the host code if you are placing an order. And I know the website's website has been very, very busy today. If you have trouble getting an order in and you want me to help you and you're ordering through me, feel free to call me, 612-929-1277. I can put it in for you. I know I just had to be a little patient today. Um, and I just wanted to also mention there are some great, great deals on especially the dyes. Oh, and some of the punches going out. I would look at anything like that first, if there's anything you want with something. And some of them have just great prices on them. Okay. Well, Knit Witch. So you must be a knitter. So she's new. Kadeen. Oh, love having you here. Welcome. Okay. Everyone's excited about new. So this is what's going out. And then after, you know, then we go. Okay. I got, the oh. first, I got the first three letters. Okay. Pure South Dakota. Okay. H-R-F-A-P. And I'll put that up above here. You can always find it on my website. And that's only, you know, if you really go nuts over this discontinuing list, you know, just um, if your order is 150 more, don't use the code because then you get the freebies. So if you any go questions, nuts, call me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to switch this and we're going to even see if we can uh, oh, look at this full catalog. And, you know, I had said that we're going to see a card from every discontinuing set, but but there were a few I didn't have. I thought I would have everything, but I, I passed my cards on so much. There were a few I just couldn't do. So we. She wanted me to go out. And but I think we'll have enough. Oh, no, I wanted you to make. I wanted to oh, set up the stamp sets oh, and have okay. you make cards. Yes. Um, but, you know, Tim doesn't work that quickly. Okay. A couple of kits that are going and the stamp sets with them. Simply Citrus and Looking Up are both wonderful stamp sets. And. I wanted to mention, um, I took the Simply Citrus and made a couple of extra cards out of it. So, you know, whenever you get a card kit that comes with stamp set or you buy an extra or you buy the stamp to go with it, you're not done just when you run out of cards. And I think fruit sets are always really fun. So there were just a couple of ideas right there. The other kit, I sent out the cards already, and I made the cards just as is. Oh, yes. Evelyn says, yes, discontinue me means the new catalog is coming soon. I can order them early April, and I'll be sending them out as quickly as I get them. And you get one automatically. They're always free for me, but you get one automatically if you have placed an order in the last six months. I'll be sending them out. Tim actually sends them out, yes. Well, Holly does the labels, and Tim yeah. sends them out. So maybe I don't have that much to do with it. Is that the, is that, would that be the correct thing? You're the Tim makes many trips to the post office. But if you haven't and liked, would like to get a catalog from me, just go to karentitus.com. There's free catalogs across the bar at the top. Page eight and, and Fill nine. out your information. Okay, this, this set, this kit makes gorgeous cards and it has in this, comes in this beautiful box that so then you can put other gift items. They're, they're card this, kits. They're, this, they're discontinuing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, there's a few of them it to make room like for more. <laughs> These are stunning cards, and the box is gorgeous. And I have one card also made out of this stamp set, then the gorgeous posies. This is from Colleen Magnus. And I love, look how she's used the square doily. So she's got a window put in here, and then there's the square doily behind there. Isn't that awesome? I just love that. And then she's got. It's very nice. Oh, uh, Wink of Stella on the on the posy. And I thought, and this is wishing you comfort and peace at this time. I think that is just a stunning card. On the next page, this is one of my favorites in the catalog. And the refill is really inexpensive. And the blue papers, I and mean, this is where we've when we've been doing quilt cards and stuff, we've been talking about those blue and white quilts. The refill kit instead of 23, it's only 1380. So my goodness. Um 
but it has the stamp set and these blue papers. So I have a couple for that. Tell me if this is working. Not I just kind of have to, I kind of have to um, make room here. And this has lost its name. These are all cards I've shown before. Um, and sometimes their names get lost and you'll see if they're not attached with a sticky note, but isn't this gorgeous? I think I just, this is the stamp set with it. And this is the paper. I love kind of that whole idea of the blue and white, and then you can add your pink. Uh, it's a great stamp set. And then here is another one. And this one is from Linda Olson. And I love how she has stamped the flowers. So if you look at this, here are, here are the different parts to it. So she's done the stamp right on the background paper. And then the vases are stamped and cut out and they're popped up. I just think that's cool. And this looks like wallpaper because she's actually stamped it and then run it through a very subtle embossing folder. Just one of the whole bunch of embossing folders are going to the subtle 3D. You guys, I say all the time, it's my most used. And I was going to have to buy a new one because mine finally broke. But the value for the money was incredible. Guess I'm not buying a new one because it's just continuing. I'll see what else they have. But I love that one. But I think this is just, and here's more of that pretty paper in here. So that is beautiful. Oh, Anne saying Boho is one of her favorites. Yes. And um, yeah, these are gorgeous. So if you have some of these sets and you love them or it's on your wish list, let us know because it's just pretty fun. To a Wild Rose is also, I know some of these are on sale. I started writing that down and then I thought I just couldn't keep it up. So I'm just showing it from page 15. 15. Okay, Tim's in charge of that. That's really awesome. And I'm gonna show two cards from that. So we see these different ideas. This is Paula Clevenger. And this has lost its name. What I love about showing these together is you see how how they're similar but different, Tim. Yes. Kind of my favorite yes. Because I love doing that. I've heard that before. Look how this is stamped in black on white and one is popped up. It's very dramatic. It's just a gorgeous card. This is stamped tone on tone. So we kind of have a darker gray on a gray. And then this one popped up. So do you see how they really are very similar and they have totally different looks? This one is a really soft inside. This stamp is part of it too. It is a, I believe it's a three, it's th it is a three step. And so this is one and I can't tell, she, I, you know what? She's done all three, the outside and that gets lighter and lighter. So this is really a beautiful, another beautiful stamp set. Kathy says she'll have to watch the replay tonight because she printed off the list, but hasn't read it yet. And I know I printed off the list and it was really hard for me to read because it's Very really small. Sweet. You can also just go to my store and I put a link up to that and just scroll through. I am not talking about the bundles. All the bundles are that are being kept, they're, they're not all retiring, but you're losing the 10% savings because you'll buy them separately. So I'm not gonna deal with that now because it's too confusing. But if there are any bundles in the current catalog that you wanna save your 10% on, you wanna get them now. Page 16. Okay, 16. Butterfly Wishes. I'll show you what I love. Oh, I love this card. Let's see if this, this one has lost its name too. I absolutely love this. We have got, uh, I can't tell if that's, I think it's real red actually. Okay, I would never stamp a branch. I'm sorry, in real red. I just, and I love it. So I just love it when things make me stop and think, oh my, what a great idea. And look at the depth. It looks watercolored. That is just the stamped image. So I think that is just a striking. I just love how this stamp plays out. And you know, you can never have too many butterflies. We've got what, four butterflies in that stamp set. But I absolutely love this red and black card. <laughs> I just think um, it looks very Asian to me. And it's just a, just a great look. I just love it because it made me stop and think twice. No, this one does not have dyes with it. This is just a stamp set. Next, we've got the Under My Umbrella, and this one has a punch. Now, things like, I think they said that they will have stamp sets for sure till April 23rd. So, um, but, you know, someone correct me if I'm wrong, because, you know, today's been a little confusing. I didn't write all this stuff down. But punches, dies, they're done. They don't make them in-house. They're just done when they're done. So if you were to buy this set and liked it, you would want the punch. So that's why I'm just warning you now. And I'm going to show you a couple of really cute cards with this. 
Page 20. I think. How cute is this one? This is Amy's story. And this is paper piecing. Do you see how she stamped the boots and the umbrella on designer series paper and then punched that out? And I think I just love that. Mm, no matter nice. the weather, we're friends forever. And another way, Tim, I make stacks here of my cards so they don't all fall down. This one's lost its name too, but I love this too, yellow and gray. Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. And I thought yellow for the rain, gray. No, yellow for the sun, <laughs> gray for the rain. I just love the colors of that. I thought it just really speaks. Rain or shine with the gray and yellow. And I love the color gray. Uh, yes, Tim is trying to say what's page is on. So just keep me on track. <laughs> page 20. <laughs> page 20. Um, my The stamp set that we inspired is going to be in the new catalog. So you'll hear more about that. Tomorrow and a week from tomorrow, I will be making things with it, and I will also be telling you how you can get it if you want it autographed, <laughs> which, which I just laugh about. But we've had so many requests, so it's coming in the new catalog. If you're a demonstrator, you might have already seen it. So please, no comments, no spoiler, no spoilers here because other people won't see it till later. Okay. Anyway, so I love this. So this is just retiring things. That will be a new thing. Okay, next, I cannot believe. Here are two of my most used sets. Both of these are going Beautiful World and High Tide. 26 and 27. 26 and 27, the whole thing. I have so many stunning cards with, and I'll be sharing the Monday nights for this month. I'll be sharing more cards too. Um, tonight, we're just doing a walkthrough, and I'm doing one or two with each of the ones I have. And I think on Monday, I'll try to do ones that have dies or punches that you see that you would need to order together. We'll just kind of take it by that. But I love this. These dies, I just saw them. Somebody called me and we were placing an order. I didn't realize they're really, really cheap. And look, without the stamp set, the, these dies are beautiful. You, you don't need even this, but I love this miles apart, but still in my heart. I, I just see, and you've got both sides of the globe. Do you want to see? A, yeah, I'm trying to open it here. Shelly Gruber. And then another one, Amy's story. And this is paper that's disappearing too. And do you see how this is, is, these can fit in the dies? These are all dies that go with it. And then lovely papers, gorgeous. Love this set. Great for graduations, travel, masculine sets. Oh yeah, when we can travel again, you know? So now we're gonna be ready for traveling cards, that's for sure. And then I love the high tide too. One of the things I love about the high tide just the words in it. Got this. You have the most amazing ability to take an ordinary moment and make it shine. Mm, like Just that. that's one of the nicest thank you comments that I could think of. And then you've got this light coming out. I just thought I just really love that. She looked at me. And, oh, <laughs> and Jim's she, reading into it now. <laughs> I thought she was going to say that's about me. Ooh, oh, Brenda's laughing. She says, "I can't believe you sharpen your catalog." Well, let me tell you this. I have a few extra. <laughs> So this is a well-worn catalog. So yes, I sharpied it so so that my eyes can glance through and find things for it. <laughs> I have a pristine one that I will keep for ideas. <laughs> but and then of course I love what you can build with this. And look at that water stamp. Uh, you know this is used. And if you stamp this like blue on blue, you get that same tone water. This is a gorgeous. I love the birds. It's just beautiful. And this is part of it too. I love this. And this has lost its name. But another word set in high tide or low tide i'll be by your side and look see look at the difference in the water from there it's very dramatic and there is very soft and i love and and the birds are just very different too i just love the differences in those cards and they are both just stunning oh and that sharpies her catalog too i i figure it's just for me so <laughs> next I had some game on cards. I actually made some, but I sent them all out. So I didn't have any, but if, you know, it's perfect if you are big game players or your friends or, you know, an, an invite to come over to game night. So I think that's a fun 20 card. 29. 20, 29. Yes. Oh, and this one's been around a while, but it's, it's hard to see go. It's geared up garage. Just a nice, I like that one. yeah, it's just a nice, um, it's really a fun guy's card. And here is a, a cute little card with that. You're a classic. Thank you. And then the dies are the gears to go with it. 
I have a lot of great cards using these gears. So it, that that's really a that's really a great stamp set too. And next, oh, okay, this is probably <laughs> page thirty. How many think, can I say this about? But all rooted in nature. So far, you pretty much said it all. I think I have more cards for rooted in nature. Probably rooted in nature, and then the map set. Uh, I have lots and lots of stunning cards with rooted in nature. And oh, see, this one keeps. Can you? Um, what, 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 what it, it's the host sets. So I have to show okay. later. I'm only showing two tonight, so I'm showing two that are very dramatically different. But I'll I'll have a whole lot more. I love. Well, I love nature stamps. Anything to do with trees. And look how this could be year round. Here it's done as an autumn card. And look at part of those dyes just impressed in in there. So you could do this as a four seasons. That would be fun. And this is Carol Baumgartner. And I do love the stamp set with the die that's the, what do you call that part of the tree? <laughs> okay. yeah. I just think that is just really cool. And I love the words in here too. I use these words. I'm going to show you the styling. You are wonderful. Thinking of you. And then I've got the to thank you for all you do. And I love this one. Words are never enough. So this is one. It is a classic. And great for all occasions. Yeah, but I'm going to miss that one. Susie says, wow, how do you keep track of all these cards? Not well. I have four bins of cards. That's why she spent the whole day looking. So, uh, yeah, ever since it came out, that's why I haven't seen the new catalog yet. I'm so busy. I was busy trying to pull out. First, I had to mark my catalog so that I could remember what I'm looking for. Try to remember. And, of course, I had to go through my four bins of cards about three times because I kept forgetting different stamp sets, <laughs> but some of you know how that is. <laughs> Organization's never been my my uh, greatest strength. But did you know over in the back porch stampers, we're having conversations about how to get organized, how to do our rooms. Um, so come over and join the conversation because I'm just loving reading the ideas. It's awesome. Page 34. 34, yes. Good morning, Magnolia. This, you know, large flower stamp sets are great. And look at all these fun words in here too. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. Thanks not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. I like nice large words like that. So here are a couple of cards done with this. Now this. Oh, look at that fun inside. Isn't that fun? Is it by? Oh, Janet Herner. <laughs> Janet Herner. <laughs> I said. Yeah, it was a birthday card to me. That's really awesome. And then this one is Soulaire. And this is the larger size. This is actually, I believe this is the size that they use in Europe. Is that right? Um, but sometimes it's fun for us to do larger sizes too, just because it makes an impact. So it's just kind of fun. But notice how this one is all colored in with blends. This one just has a teeny bit of coloring. And it could have just been left black and white. I just love that you can change things up. So that, and then there is the right triangle. Okay, I thought it was, I circled it. since I thought it was unretired, and then I thought, oh, no, it's not. So I scribbled it out. Then I found, yes, it was. So, okay, as long as I'm showing the catalog, those are how I take notes. <laughs> not very well. Okay, seaside notions. Page I love anything to do with the sea. Page 36, yes. And, oh, this is just really a fun card with this. This is Fussy Cut. This, there's no die with this. But isn't this fun how this is just layered like this? Love that seahorse with gratitude. I think that's just really a fun card. Love the little bubbles. gems for the bubbles. <laughs> but I think that's pretty awesome. Um, demonstrators can see the new catalog by going into the Stampin' Up! website. You go in, you know, as a demonstrator, and then that's where you'll see it. So you can ask me later, you know, um, customers will see it later. But did you know, if you've been thinking about buying the starter kit, you could get some of the new things in your starter kit. So we can arrange you to get some things early. So it's an awesome time to talk to me about that. So Question. give me a call if you have questions. Yes. Do starfish actually bubble up like that? Do they breathe? Do they have air? Conditioning? I have no idea, but you know, think. Tim, we're not into realism. So, oh. <laughs> and then there's parcels and petals. And I don't have any. This was, this has a cute little package, and the die has 
make this package. If you're someone who likes having dyes and making lots of cute little boxes, this could be up your alley. Okay, and then we have today's tiles. Page 38. Page 38, yes. And <laughs> I just can't keep track of them. <laughs> oh, you know, they're starting to fall out. Oh, look at this, Tim. Oh, they're all starting to fall. Oh, I might have trouble. This might get slower as we get to the mixed up part. But isn't this fun with the fun colors? Like that's just really a cute card. Now, we're doing a ribbon class. I want you to notice right on this card, there are two different ways of doing a ribbon. She's got this and she's got this. We're doing class this weekend on 20 ways to sure. add your ribbon to your cards, 20 different ways. And the uh, I'll put a link to that too. It's only $15 when you sign up for the All Good Cards Club. And every month we spend a weekend together. We have three separate classes. And then everyone shares what they're doing. And it's great fun. We all get to know each other. This is Leanne Furness. Next we have... Well, I had to point this one out. So if you're getting the umbrella punch, you, you might want that. We're on 44. I have a really cute card, but I can't find it. Using this in a sound list on page 45, there is a really cool stamp set. Look at these cards up here. And the dies do this, happy across. So it can be happy birthday, happy to celebrate you, happy graduation. It is a great set. And I had to point that out. It's the one I was going to point out that I don't have a card to go with. <laughs> So that's disappearing. But it is disappearing. So yes. Bad. Yes. Okay. And then we have Seaside View. Here's a I want to be there stamp. 46. And this card was sent to us. Davida Heater. This is my I want to be there card. Oh, this is retiring too. That's coming up later. But look how she's built this scene. Isn't that great? It's very nice. So I think that's, um, you know, I just love how you can combine your stamps and we've got the palm trees. So she's just combined sets and done that. So very fun. And then this one framed for you is also a really cute. This stamp set was inspired by Terry Gaines for her million in sales. And this is a card that she did with it. Isn't that fun? Oh, and these dies are leaving. Oh, I don't know what's coming in, but I thought, oh, I'm going to miss out. Isn't that pretty how it's just layered three ways? So make sure you check those out. Sometimes comments move along and um, the demonstrator questions, I'm, I'm getting some. I'm just going to say, because this could pertain for any of you who might be interested in becoming one, uh, we will get to order in April a certain select amount. When it's small catalogs, we get to order anything we want a month early. When it's the big catalog, it's a select amount because they have to, you know, transfer them, transform the whole warehouse. <laughs> um, so we will get a list. I don't know when the list comes out, but we can order in April. So that's really exciting. So that's why I just mentioned if that sounded appealing to you. So, okay. And then we have Basket of Blooms and it. Page 48. Page 48. And it. <laughs> is there an echo? <laughs> Tim remembers to say it. No, I just feel the need to repeat it. So. <laughs> But it goes with the little flower punch, which is also retiring. So you just want to make sure you get them both. You do it. But I think that's just really cute. And this is a really fun, unusual card. This is from Sean Perez. And I love how she put the flower there. And then she's got this tall base. And it's just peeking out. So those are stamps from, from here. And I just think that is so cute. Happy birthday, Sean. It's just very different. It's her birthday today, I think, or yesterday. Well, that's fun. Okay, and then <laughs> this is pretty sad. It is. It's going to be interesting. I have to slide my whole thing. 52. Monogram messages. And, you know, this kind of a sleeper set to me because I didn't pay much attention to it. But, oh, my goodness, is this a cute card. Look at this adorable. Just this stunning card with the hot pink and black. Oh, that's right. Turn it around. <laughs> Remember? And this is Stella McKay. I love that card. Not just fun. Yes. And I think she's put um is that a that's not a C, that's a bracket. It's a C. Uh, C for celebrate. Oh, Congrats. Oh. C oh, okay. is four. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay, got, got it. it, Tim. Okay. I love the pink and black. Just the that was too advanced in my reading skills. So yes, that's right. But I just and the black flowers, and here we'll you know, see that's that little punch. That's really fun. 
These two, I'm just going to mention that the tags die is on sale for really, really cheap too. And you can make all these different things. I don't have anything. I've used so much love a lot. I've done it on lives, but I couldn't find a card. So moving on, we're going to go to the zoo globe. What page? Page 54. This is cute. Happy birthday. Lisa Schmidt. I think that's just really a, a cute little birthday card. And then we have Borders Abound. And I don't have one to go with this either. And, okay, we're going to do Rustic Retreat first. That This has been another fun set. We have the Cabin in the Woods. I guess you know, so that's absolutely my favorite stamp in this. Um, but then there's also the You Are Braver Than You Believe, Stronger Than You Seem, Smarter Than You Think, and Loved More Than You Know. And here we have, you know, just uh, a nice masculine idea for a card if you're looking for that. And look just how the frames are done. So that's just a smaller frame within a larger frame and a fun inside thinking of you. And that is Robin Reset. Uh, yes, um, Susan was just saying the little flower punch. Uh, yes, you. this one's retiring too. Yes, all these little punches. Uh, little flower punches are, are very handy. <laughs> and punches in general. I always go to punches right away too because if you've got grandkids or kids in your life, nieces, whoever, neighbor kids, punches, I just love having punches out for them to work on. Now, Peaceful Bows, I don't have anything current, but I have loved this set. That is going. And I just have to say, I love, we have like three sets that are all going that you can build scenes together. And I'm sure I have a couple of cards with this. I just couldn't have to find one. This is the one with the meadow, but you're going to see two more coming ahead. But uh, I, I, they all are fun. Oh, because here's one here, Snowfront. Do you see how these all can go together? So you can just build. I have one here with Snowfront. And I think that's it's just, you know, you just build a little scene. So you've got your trees, you've got your deer. And just a great little card, Shelly Gruber. Yeah, the cards are falling because when I'm moving the catalog, you can see my spine. It's so full of cards that the pages move. That's what's, So I do see that. But I don't think I, don't think I can leave it alone. Then we have another um, uh, set right there. I don't know if I can show you the card well enough if I have it here. And I have sent out, I sent all my all my Twa Christmas cards. This is probably personally the set that I will miss the most. Page 61. Page now 61, and it is Winter Woods. Don't move that. Okay, let's try it and see if this works. Can, can you see it well enough? Is that is that good? Are we good with that? Okay. What I'm going to miss about this most, well, I love those trees, and but I love the birch trees here. I just, I'm, and I just made so many cool cards with that. But I love this technique. And this has lost its name, so I don't know who to who to give credit to. But I've recreated this card because I just love it. Do you see how it's dark in the back? And then it's stamped off again on a smaller piece. So this is lighter. And then it's put across the darker ones. So yeah. you just get that shading effect. And I think it's just a really cool technique. So it looks like it's actually one of those clear, one of those... Those see through, yeah, like a vellum or something. Vellum, like yeah. you're kind of looking through. I really like that. Okay, does this work? Maybe I'll try doing this and see if that works. But I really love that stamp set. And of course, there are dies with that too. Now we have the ornate style, and we have the ornate thanks, which is staying, which just has all the words, but the flower part is page going. 67. Page 60, yeah, page 67. And I think this is really a pretty card. You're amazing. This is Angie Leach. And I love how she's just colored this in. And I love the layout, how she's got that on an embossed background and then a black strip there. I think that is really pretty. And then next we've got flowering blooms. And yes, there is a die. This is cut out with a die from that. And I love these rich colors. Mm -hmm. I think that's just done very nicely. This is Lisa Bowell. So that's a fun card. And she's got the Wink of Stella there. That is beautiful. A pack of petals. I didn't think I had one. I see. I didn't know where it is. I put it, and then I found one. This is really a nice, oh, a sympathy card, sharing in your sorrow, and for the inside, hoping you can find strength for today and peace in tomorrow. 
And then there's other great sayings. Your kindness has touched my heart. And here's to always finding joy in one another's laughter, warmth in one another's embrace, and love in one another's lives. So, and I just like how this is done. So I think this is just really a nice um, sympathy card, but it could be all kinds of things. And do you see how it's a two-step stamp? So this is stamped first, and then we have the flowers, and there are a couple of different options to put in there. Page 71. Okay. Gail says she's been watching us uh, recorded for a long time, her first time here live. Well, good. I'm thrilled that you're here. It's just so fun. Oh, look at this. All of this is going. <laughs> Healing hugs. I'm going to start with this one. This is Connie Thompson. And then this one is Don Ofshevsky. And what I wanted, I chose these two also because look, they both have this cut out. This one is one flower in the words. This is filled with flowers. I love that this is basically even the same layout, but look at the different choices you can make. So with one stamp set, you could make all your cards be different. And I think they're both beautiful. This is that photo realism. Look, do you see how it just all looks just, it looks almost like a photograph. And we have all those different layers of color in there, which is really, really fun. Because at one time it was, correct? Mm -hmm. What? I think they use photographs. Yeah, I think they do and create from there, out of their of process. Yeah. yeah, I think. And then, that, oh, and I do like the words. You know, if you, if you do get well cards, it's got the get well soon, wishing you, you know, it's just got a bunch of that. Dandelion Wishes has been really a fun set. And I have several different technique cards with this. So I'll, I'll show most of them on another night. But here's one of them. Look, we've got three panels. And this is, it's actually embossed. But then look at the sponging around there going off. It's, so it's very dramatic. It's very colorful and dramatic. And this is Karen Phillip. So I really, I really like that. Yeah, the bl the blonde, the the yellow really jumps out when the outside yeah. is darker. Yeah, just kind of makes that accent. And then I love, you know, my tendency would be to fill in the whole space, and I love that it's just done like that because then we also have lots of white. So I think it's very stunning. And, oh, Gail is watching us from Trinidad. Oh, my goodness, isn't that fun that we're just from all over? I don't have anything for round of applause. Now, so sentimental. Now, Age 74, the year that Karen and I got married. <laughs> that would be Tim. I think of all those. And I don't remember. I, I don't know if the dies. I haven't looked. I hope the dies aren't going to this. I use these all the time. I'll have to open this well, one. We actually passed 67, which is the year I graduated from high school. But I, I chose oh, not to oh, say Oh, it's because it's not going to be about you tonight. No. Okay. No, okay. Us. <laughs> I'm going to show two. And I love the words. And I love, look how this fits into this. So we've got, I can't thank you enough. Uh, it's just got great words. Your friendship is a blessing. And I wanted to show two cards. This is Cindy Quincer. And this is Joanne Bacherman because they are using the same stamp, the same die. This has more layers. But look how we have a bright, colorful one. And then we have a black, white, and gray. This has a very masculine feel to it. And, and this is just a bright, I don't know, it's really fun. And this one's kind of cut off right there. But they're both stunning cards. And does this one open up? Yep. So, so yeah, it's cut a little yeah. bit, so you still see a white stri um, strip there. But th and this one, look how simple it is. It's just that. And then a few layers. And so mm -hmm. I think um, just using a great word set just makes beautiful cards. Oh, good. Juanita said she thinks she's keeping the dies. Okay, so I don't remember that. And I love these dies. So maybe there will be no new words to go into them. And that little bling is actually perfect for that. Yeah. Black. And it looks like it's just held on with the ribbons. I said yeah. really, really fun cards. Do you know what I've given away? All my heart cards that use the punch. So the different heart sets in here, there are a couple, go with the heart punch. Is the heart punch retiring? Somebody tell me that. I don't remember know that at all. So I don't have any, but they're just, they're awesome because especially again, like working with kids or sometimes I would do Valentine's with my church group and it's, and there's a whole bunch of people. So it's just really fun to have punches. So I really do like that. And look at this. All of these are retiring, and I have no 
cards to share. So you're on your own there. 76, 77, 78. Okay. And then on this one, I have no cards for these. Butterfly Gala has been around. You know, we have some new butterfly sets. But this is really, and, and it has a punch for this. And it's a double butterfly punch. And I know it's going. Look at how cool this card is. Mm. We've got the dangly butterflies. Is that just awesome? And this is from Stephanie Briggs. Thank you. And just on my downline, it was a thank you note for just being in my downline. I thought, I just think that is such a cute idea. This makes me think too, this, I don't know, you could do something like with bookmarks, all kinds oh, of stuff this makes me it. think of. But that's stunning. And that is this, and it's a punch. No heart punches are staying. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So we'll just have die. So I do love having heart punches for working with kids. So I'm just kind of saying that, or church groups or things like that. I don't have anything. These are for an invitation. This posted for you goes with the postage stamp punch. And I do believe that that's staying. So there's probably something else with it. But these are really cute. I'm going to show two samples here. Here we have a very simple, lovely card. Donald Shusky. And look how we just have one little bit of color. And it's on white. Little bit of embossing across there. And then we have one that has a lot more detail. And Rhonda Bassler. And I love how you can do it either way. This is a pocket card. Now, typically when I make pocket cards, I think of doing it this way. So I just love getting one this way. <laughs> but isn't that cool? And this one's very antique. This is like pristine, blue and white. This is sponged and antiqued. And I think they are both beautiful cards. And I know I probably can't see all the comments, so I will go looking for them afterwards. So just know. Grace's Garden. This is... Uh, for those of you who love gardens, it's got the little cat in there, and it has dyes, and this is a putsy card, and it is gorgeous. And somebody sent this to me. Uh, if any of you know who it is, this was a uh, – anyway, the, it is it is beautiful, and I don't know who it to is. give credit. So if you are on here watching, please do let me know, because I always feel bad when names get lost. But isn't that fun? We've got the garden gate. And this styling, this – this stamp set that has this wor these words are also retiring. You'll see it later, but I thought I'd just point it out because it's kind of striking, the styling that it has. Very elaborate. Well, yeah, and I can't guarantee what's going on. Like I said, I, uh, I will go study some more now. Now, this is a stamp set. I call this another sleeper stamp set because you almost don't notice it. And I have this card that is just stunning from Kelly Schutte, and I thought, look at this. I love how she's got this and then sending you a paper hug. Mm. Isn't that just sweet? And then she added, you know, the other parts aren't retiring there, but I just think that is just just beautiful on that card. Yep. And she put it on the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, so it just has some texture there. But I really love that. This one's been around for quite a long time, and it's a wonderful stamp set. So we'll see if any of you remember this this um, paper. Was it so this goes back. This is, oh, Connie, Connie Hobbs. I'm reading, I'm reading my cards to myself. <laughs> I guess it's not the time for that. <laughs> okay. And it's just in with the blends. And I thought, isn't that fun? I, I just think that is another just stunning card. And here's another one with a punch. If you don't have the apple, this makes apples or pumpkins. Again, thinking kids and all the reasons you use apples or, or pumpkins. Sets like this, I I don't get rid of, I get rid of almost everything, but I keep things with punches because I save them for the kids. But I just wanted to show two simple cards. Here we've got the apples and here we've got the pumpkins. And I love, okay, this one does have a name. I did that really simple one. This is Linda Bowen. And so I just have the three, for three different colors of apples. And she's got, look how she's stamped on the background and then she's got one popped up. Hey there, pumpkin. This will just cover a whole lot of things. And again, it's a punch, so I don't need to say more. I just, it's awesome. It's an amazing stamp set. Oh, we did this in your class. Okay, Kimberly was recognizing this. It was one of our, <laughs> it was one of our class cards. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. And then we have Ridiculously Awesome. This Page was inspired 90. by Rhonda Wade. 
uh, for a million in sales. And this is another stamp set where the, you know, it's large words. And look how fun this is. You are my sunshine. This is Lynn Feldkamp. This is paper that's, I know that this is retiring. Look at what the sparkly paper does to this. And then it's just on an embossing folder, which is also retiring. And some dies. And it's a stunning card. I love that. And I love that this is done in that bumblebee color. What kind of paper is that again? Um, I don't know. Someone here might know. It's sparkly course, paper, Tim. From dark to light. Oh, ombre. ombre. Oh, or, yeah, or how's it the multicolored? But I think that is a beautiful card and not hard to make at all. <laughs> Rebecca said she lost her mind. She forgot to be here at 6.30. Well, you know, well, at 6.20, Tim starts cooking supper. Yes. And I go, Tim, we're on at 6.30. He yeah, goes, I said, oh, I thought it was just you because this isn't the usual yourself. time. And I said, no, I said we were switching Monday to Wednesday. And he just thought he was off the hook because there was a change. I said, no, 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 no. So I think we're going to have late supper. <laughs> okay, special someone. I'm just... Personally, not that fond of squirrels, mice, and raccoons. I just have to be upfront about that. I just don't think I could send them in cards unless it's like a joke to someone else who doesn't like them. But oh my goodness, this is a cute card. <laughs> so that said, this is really, really, you know, fun. Laura Mulligan. And I love how she's got these, you know, look at the, the little hair, the or the little hair, the little flower. Bling. There's the little bling. Yes. And these little lines in the balloon. I think that's just so cute. And these two blues. I would never put together and they work. They're just so fun because it's like a real aqua and it's then green. a balmy it's blue. Oh, it's a green blue. Well, it's and then a blue, blue. Yeah, green. I just, you know, it's just but interesting. I'm colorblind. But I, I just love it. It's just very, it's a very dainty looking raccoon. <laughs> if I could get past that. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, next. Oh, we've got Dino Days. And thanks for being a friend to Saurus. And it has dies. Another Lisa Bowell card. And here's one, another one of my favorites, Wildly Happy. I think it's so funny because the name is Wildly. And they all look as peaceful and contented <laughs> as they could be. But I have two lovely cards with this. This one has lost its name. But Fox. The Fox. I thought, Isn't that pretty? I love how it's colored like that. Isn't that fun, Tim? It's watercolored. So I, I'm going to do something like that. So uh, this actually I had to take out of my idea pile because I really love how it's just softly colored in and then the watercolors all around and it just makes such a soft look. And you don't have to keep it inside the lines. No, that's what I just love about it. Uh, this is a card that when our grandson Hank was over once, it's one he picked. He loved it because you could be real messy with it. That's what he said about it. So I remember that. And I love just the two little accent strips there. Just an easy card. And then this one is just adorable. Little baby card here. So tiny, so small, so loved by all. And it's a little flip card. A new little someone to kiss and to love. A happy addition from heaven above. So then it flips open again. And she's using three of the different mom and baby sets. That is darling. And this is Rebecca Meyer. Isn't that fun? You know, I've made these cards before. But what I love about what she did, you know, when people take it up even more, I love that she's got three things that just all accent that. Very nicely done. Marilyn says she's never met an animal she didn't like, but she would have to agree it's cross mice and raccoons are probably the least favorite. <laughs> oh, this, this, see, this is how names get lost because they're not attached. So. <laughs> and I saw an animal that I have not seen for a while in the backyard today. And I think it was a a possum, did you think? Well, no, no, it wouldn't yeah. be. Or a, uh, I'm not sure. I'll think oh, about it. You'll, you'll have to think about it. But page 104, this little happy birthday here. Here's that same sparkly paper. If you do cards for kids, this is actually really a fun one to do. Isn't that fun? Just happy birthday, bright colors, happy card, and really very easy. I love how she did the inside too. Deborah Arnson. And I am totally amazed that the zebra, zany zebras, is going out. And what I saw in, today, mm -hmm. a mole. A mole. Okay, that would make more sense than what. Yes, that would I make think sense. So. Okay. <laughs> well, happy birthday with his little happy birthday hat. This is Carrie McHale. And I had made, this is a little worse for the wear, but this is a penny slider card. If you've ever, okay. But it's been in my, uh, and it lost one of its thing. But I, you know, these just make really cute 
cute cards for anyone. So I had to show that too. That was a long slim slimline card. So that's going to be missed, I think. Yeah, they'll bring in new sets. You know, I'm I'm all about being inspired for new things. I don't have any for a lot of the different word sets, but words are always just good to have. Okay, here is Sending Sunshine. And I showed you the one card with the chair, but here's another one. Look at how pretty that is. And, and it's the same dyes, but I, I just love how that's like a little, almost a little framed picture itself. Page 111. It's a card that flips like that. And this is Lori Healy. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. Next, we will go to 113, and all three of these stamp sets are going. So the first one is Band Together. And you can see the stamp sets used in the background, but the dies on this, uh, I've had a lot of people order even just the dies, but it has different fancy frames for words, and they're bands. So you might want to check that out because it has some really cool looks to it. So that's a fun. And then we have for the Northwoods here, we do have our By the Dock. For all of you lake lovers, this was one that I did just with watercolor. I'm just kind of an old boat floating around. And on this one, embrace each moment. I think, oh, and this is lost. I've shown this card several times. Now the name is lost. What I love most about this card is how it's stamped. This is stamped in navy on designer series paper. And it's Ooh. just kind of a very moody look or something to me. You know, isn't it? It's very like impressionistic. I just don't think I'd ever think of doing that. Embrace each moment like that. Now, what a fun um, engagement card or something like that too, or anniversary card. But I thought just really a fun idea. So I love the idea behind this. Um, <laughs> Mary says she can't believe I decimated her stamp collection just got. <laughs> yes, but there's always new things coming and these are still just so fun to use. So I think it's all, it's all good. You know, that's what I always say. Beautiful friendship. Page 115. And I'm going to show two cards with this. One, that's a fun full card. This is Brenda Springer. And I'm actually going to open it for you. <laughs> you can see this is with the scallop dies. No, but to see how it opens like that. So that's a fun full card. And a very soft. This is Pat Texa. Very uh, one what, uh, no layers on this, just a layered card. Because sometimes we think we just have to do so many different kinds of things. That's just lovely. And it's just stamped. It is. Just on the cardstock. And I think it is just a beautiful card. Okay, doke. Next. Okay, here is a, this is one of my favorite flower sets. Bloom and Grow. Because of what you can do with it, and I have a couple of really fun samples. Love these bright, bright colors. This is Alicia Graham. This color is leaving, this purple posy. This color I'm going to miss because I love layering it with Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. It kind of just adds that third third layer. So I'm this color will be missed by me. I would just say that. But I love how brightly colored this in this is. And these are dyes. That is beautiful. And then check out this card. This is Barb Vandermeulen. And she's used bleach. Mm. If you bleach on craft paper, look at, they look like yellow flowers right on there. And I think those are two gorgeous mm. cards yeah. done very differently. You're simply wonderful. Yes. Now we're getting there, you guys. We don't have too many left. This is, mm. this is longer than our usual chatting over cards is because there's just so much to share, but I couldn't put the catalog in half. This is Susan Camfield, Field of Flowers. And this has a little flower border punch that's also going away just so you know that but i love how she did this card i love that it's white and then you've got this hot that magenta madness that hot pink and isn't that just pretty so we just have the, the leaves there and then the little scattered stamp so she hasn't used the punch with this at all this is just stamped and i think it's just beautiful okay a couple more flower sets here. So this is Floral Essence. I haven't used this for a while, but these are a couple of really pretty cards. This one is Ruth Norton. Oh, uh, look, at we've got that same purple posy again. Look how fun these are, how she's layered them. And the words she has stamped are on vellum. So you can kind of see through, but you see Tim is 
walking out here because he's just got a peek at dinner. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you oh, okay. And then there's another one. This is the technique card where you can, this is Kathleen Hopperstead. You see how these were first stamped on flat paper and then she went in and took a die cut and cut that out and popped it up. So Very it all nice. just flows together. Just really beautiful. What is that underneath? You're just done a little, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, dimensionals. Dimensionals, yeah. Rebecca said she's already done some damage today, but she's making me want to do more. <laughs> I'm, I'm making her want to do more. <laughs> and this one, this was a stamp we looked at earlier that is also retiring. And this is kind of the same idea. Do you see how this was stamped and it's going over this piece? But I also wanted to point out these words. These are from the woven heirlooms, which are also disappearing. Prayers and heartfelt sympathy are with you and your family. I, I really like that set too. That's really pretty. And then this one, swirly frames. I just have one card. Page 125. 125. And this is another set. I had no idea what you do with it until I looked at this. I love what Chris Smith did with this. Do you see how she stamped and then she masked it off? And so then she's got the flowers behind it. So this is just single layer. Mm, Isn't that really? fun? That so and I weird. love the black and the accent of the yellow and the that touch really of green. Does seem like that's a separate piece. I know. I think I think this is just really a stunning card. And this is and it's done with this. And that's that, just a, that is cut out. No, it isn't. Yeah, this is a little so extra strip put on. Yeah. So yeah. But I think that's really cool that that is just one piece right there. Yep. So that's very fun. Beautiful. And I don't have anything for fancy phrases. I really didn't have anything for a range of wreath either, but I did have one wreath card. And then this is the dies are going to. wanted to show. Wreaths have just been really popular so is that lately. the same one? Or is that a different um, it, I, I think it's the same one, but I wouldn't guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Oh, and I know I have beautiful cards out of Friend Like You. And I couldn't find any of them, but this has a great silhouette stamp to go with it. I don't have garden shed for the gardeners in your life. Here is waterfront, which is another of the three scene resets that all can work that. together. You've used this. I was yes. going to show your card, but we'll save it for another, <laughs> for a Monday night. This is Kim Peck. And I just love it. Yeah, Tim made them. He said they were little outhouses in the woods. <laughs> but I think that's really cool. And then for a totally different take on this, this is Lynn Hart. Look at how cool this is. Same stamps and you yeah. wouldn't ever know it by looking at it. Love the blues and kind of the moodiness of, of this card. Those trees aren't the same size, are they? Yep, they're the same trees. Wow. That's Isn't that weird. fun? So that is, that's very cool. And then we have, oh, we are, see, this is where the my catalog split, but we're almost done. So we have the walk in the woods and here's a fun walk in the woods card. From Julie Wright, monochromatic. Don't ever forget, you don't need to color these things in. So this is just misty moonlight. And she's got the mushrooms and, 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 and the little guy. Groundhog? I don't know. What, what is this little guy? You guys have to tell us. I guess we aren't. Uh, but you just add those blues. And she's got this guy popped up. Simple, simple card and really beautiful. So this is really fun. And I love Field Journal. I have a couple here to show. This one is Denise mm. Quail. And this one is Sue Nuremberger. And again, totally different looks. But for those of you who struggle with ideas that could be masculine too, I, I love how this is has all this black. And this, this, yeah, that stunning thing there. And mm. I love this one. And she's using that kind of... Um, a sunflowery kind of a flower background just in embossing folder. And then she's colored in on crumb cake. And I forget to do that. Typically when I color, I just think of white or vanilla. And I just think those are just gorgeous cards. Another stamp set I haven't had a chance to play with. I was going to do a whole live on the stamp set because I just love it. Never got around to it. Okay. These are all retiring. And I just have one card here. Together is the perfect place to be. And this is Amy Rich, very fun uh, card. And I love all these little kids, the silhouettes. I have done a lot with those. And then the last is just the two whole sets. If you don't have these, these are just really, really cute. Look at this exception to an extraordinary 
granddaughter. This would be an extraordinary card to give <laughs> granddaughter. I love the little girl sitting reading. Oh my goodness, this was me as a child. And I love this, the trees going down the roads, got the little animals, such a cute set to play with. And look how cute it is. Gail Connolly. And it's Ooh, a gatefold nice. card where it meets in the middle. That is beautifully colored. I think, oh, love, love, so love that. That word, those words come from another place. They come from another stamp set that's about grandkids. So this could say anything. Yeah. But awesome. to send to any, to send to a reader, yeah. you know, I and this part two, I just, uh, this has been one of my favorite stamp sets. Now, when I first saw this, I knew I liked it, but I really didn't know what you do with it. And then I get this card and I go, oh, that's what you do with it. Amy Rich. I love it. The gray and then just a little bit of the, uh, is that the Just Jade maybe? And I just don't think I would have thought of that. Just done in the soft grays. Add your ribbon. I, anyway, it's a beautiful card. This this show would have been shorter if Amy Rich didn't contribute. <laughs> hey, so you do notice that uh, I, several names I will repeat a few times because we all do card swaps together. It is one of the best parts about being a demonstrator, I think, because it's like seeing the paper versus just looking at it in the catalog. And it's like, I like to be inspired and by actually looking at cards. Seeing versus looking is a big difference. <laughs> so this is always fun. A new catalog change over time. So please let me know if you have questions, things I can answer, things I can help you with. Tomorrow we're going to be back at one o'clock for a double one sheet wonder, a new one, one we haven't done before. So that'll be I'm using Stamina. up my- Two uh, days in a yeah, row. I I'm using up- a bunch of my designer series paper, you know, getting ready for the new stuff. Earlier today, I went into the Backport Stampers, which is my Facebook group. I just went in there and showed some things I was doing to use up my designer series paper. So we just chatted a while and that was fun. So thanks guys. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.